Okay, you read through number two. Two packages, first plan 360 for three days in a hotel and two rental car, a rental car for two days. Second plan, same thing, just a different amount. Uh, we're supposed to find the cost per day of the hotel and the car, all right? So you read this tomorrow. How many things am I asking you to find? Two, two variables means two equations, okay? Three variables, it would be three equations, all right? Two variables here. Yeah, I'll just stick with the old X and the Y. All right, so I'll let X equal, what's the first one? Cost of the hotel. And I'll let Y equal the cost of the car. First equation. Yep. 3X plus two days for the rental car, cost me 360. And then the second one's going to use $500, but for four days in the hotel and three days for the rental car. Cost me 500. That's not too bad. Easy to set up. You guys will solve it here in a second. Are we all good there? Can't wait. Can't wait. Literally, I'm not waiting, but. We're good there, guys? No big deal. Two, two variables, two equations. All right. Uh, what we got to work on is the next one, number four. This was something new we talked about at the beginning of this unit, which is the uh, wind speed, velocity of the plane. Okay, so ready here, number four. I'm gonna call, I'll start out by calling X the plane velocity. And I'll call Y the wind velocity here at number four. Two variables, how many equations? Two equations, all right. When you go with the wind, with the wind, you want to add these two velocities together because they're going in the same direction. They're working together. So I'm going to go X plus Y here. When they're working together with the wind in the same direction, we add them together. They're working together. It can go 2,160 miles, but in how many hours? Three. So instead of attaching the three to the X and the Y, I'm just gonna multiply all this by three because it can do it in three hours. Anybody remember when I go against the wind now? I'm gonna subtract them. So X minus Y, same distance or a different one? Same distance, 2,160, but now it's gonna take you how long? Four hours, so I multiply all that by four. <coughs> I am gonna let you do this on your own, but I just want a little heads up. I don't know if distributing the three and distributing the four and solving it like that is the easiest or just time consuming wise. How can I get rid of the three right now? Divide both sides by three. So when you do that, you'll have X plus Y equals, oh boy. I don't know, 720? Anybody wanna check that? 720? And then down here, what do you want to divide by? Four, so you get X minus Y equals five something. 540, thank you. Why is this a lot easier to handle? What's gonna cancel out right now when you solve later? The Y's, okay? All right. So again, with the wind, Going in the same direction, I want to add them. Against the wind, I want to subtract them when they're going in opposite directions. <sighs> Anything there? Again, every single question is going to be on there tomorrow. Break even, mixture, plane, wind speed, all going to be on there. Grace, go ahead. So when you 
solve the two x's and then you have the yep. two x's. So when you put, put, plug it back in yep. to get a y, you plug it into that original equation. Doesn't matter. But if you plug it into here to get y, you better just make sure you multiply by 3 out here. Yes, that's fine. I would probably prefer that. Okay. All right? More kids make mistakes when they try to go back and plug it into here. I'd probably prefer it that you plug it back here. All right, all good? Anything? All right, I'm going to keep trucking. Six. Is this one we got to do all out? Oh, no, and this is not our favorite. All right. I think you guys already probably know what this is going to involve. You got one, two, and three bedroom co bedroom condos. Rent is twelve forty. Total rent twelve forty. So she takes ten percent. You guys can read it. Twenty percent of the two and the thirty percent of the three. Total repair bill two seventy six. Three bedroom condo rent is twice the one bedroom condo rent. How much is the rent of all three? All right. So I'm just gonna let's go. X will be the one bedroom rent. Y can be the two bedroom rent. Z will be the three bedroom rent. Three variables, three equations. Here you go. Anybody want to list off one of them? X plus Y plus Z. All three rents at she rents she receives is 1240. Got it. What else you got for me? What about these percents here? Okay, hold on. Point one X plus point two Y plus Z. Yep, two seventy six for the t repair bill. Two down, one to go. Three bedroom condo rent. What do we call three bedroom condo rent? Z is equals twice the one bedroom z equals 2x yep and then i'll let you guys go from here here in a few minutes i know you hate these but i think you're going to thank me tomorrow i didn't take it off don't worry it's still on there but it's a little easier to handle than uh, the ones we've been doing hopefully you won't get too frustrated Setting it up, we good? I got two more to go here. Eight, 10, yeah, two more to go. All good? Okay, we got one of those maximize, maximizing problems. Again, I'm, I'm just going to set it up with you. You can graph them in a minute. All right, you guys can graph it when we're all done. All right, we talk about scientific and graphing calculators. You guys can read through it. Uh, $2. This is a, a little bit different. Take a look. Hey, everyone, take a look. Scientific calculator sold results in a $2 loss. All right, remember that there. And a graphing calculator produces $5 in profit. How many of each type to maximize? So when you go to write this Z function right now, well, actually, should be doing what first? Yeah. We'll let X equal scientific. So number of scientific calcs. And I'll let Y equal the number of graphing calcs. So when you go right to that Z function, what happens with the scientific calculators? It's a $2 loss, so how can I write that? Well, if it was a $2 gain, you would just write 2X, right? Well, it's a loss instead, so negative 2X. Plus how much for the graphing? Five Y. 
If you want to write 5y minus 2x, that's fine too, whatever floats your boat. Everyone want to write y the negative 2 there? All right, what about your inequalities now? Read through it with me. Inequalities time. At least 100 scientific. Okay, so I called x scientific, so at least 100. What do you got for me? X is greater than or equal to 100. I'm just going to hold on to that, all right? Because the limitations on the capacity, no more than 200. So ready? Well, here's what we got. At least 100, but no more than 200. How do I write that one? At least 100, but no more than 200. Yep, so I got the 100. Less than or equal to X. Less than or equal to 200. Got to do at least 100, but no more than 200. And then keep reading about the graphing. At least 80, but no more than 170. So same thing, 80, less than or equal to Y, less than or equal to 170. What's up, Matt? Yep. Yep. I'm using it here with the fact down right here in the next sentence that it has to be no more than 170. So it's got to be at least 80 I got to make, but I can't go over 170. Now, if you wanted to do these separately, like X is greater than 100 and X is less than 200, that's fine. All right, but I think just combining it, this will be easier on us to graph. And there's one more inequality we should write to satisfy the shipping contract. X plus Y has to be at least 200. Greater than or equal to 200. And I have faith in you graphing these and plugging the points in, which you can do here a couple minutes. Anything you want to ask before I go on to the last problem, setting it up? And again, just like I just told Matt, hey, don't write this down, but just take a look. Let's say you didn't think about combining it. You could still have this right here. X is greater than or equal to 100. And then maybe you just have X is less than or equal to 200. You'd still end up graphing two vertical lines. All right. So whether you notice that or not, it's still fine. Last one. Any questions? All right. Last one. And then you can work with whoever you want, finishing up these problems. Question back there? Okay, so you got them. Last one. Uh, before I start this, can you read that graph pretty clearly? Because you're going to need to for this problem. Is it good? We can see what it goes up to and what the different types of snacks are. We're all set. All right. I'll let you just read through it, and then we'll read through it again and write the equations about Super Bowl Sunday. Sounds a guacamole. Anybody a guacamole person? I'm not. Not at all. Not at all. Guacamole or avocado, out. I don't know why. 12 million pounds of guacamole on one day. It's becoming pretty popular nowadays. Has it? Why do I feel like I've never heard of it as a kid? Guacamole. Like, I feel like this is like a trend, like the last five years. It's, a, it's been a trend that more people are eating it. Avocados and like, I never grew up with that stuff. Maybe it was just my upbringing, but I never grew up with that stuff. Okay, here we go. If you guys read the question, how many things am I looking for at the end here? How many things am I looking for at the end of this problem? Read it. How many millions of pounds of potato chips and tortilla chips? So you should have two variables. All right, we'll call X potato chips, pounds of potato chips. (laughs) 
and we'll call Y the tortillo, the tor tortilla chips, excuse me. Two variables, two equations. Ready? First one, the number of pounds of guacamole. Read the chart. What do I have? Number of pounds of guacamole. 12 million, so 12 is equals 10 times, now how do I write this? 10 times the difference between the number of pounds of potato chips and tortilla chips eaten. 10 times the difference. Good, 10 parentheses times minus y. All good? Last equation. Americans also eat a total quantity of potato chips and tortilla chips. Total quantity. How, how do I write that? A potato and tortilla chips. X plus Y equals, yep. And this is going to seem kind of strange, but it's right. That exceeds the popcorn consumption. What's popcorn? 3.1 exceeds it by 7.3. Exceeds, exceeds exceeds plus 7.3. Yep, so if you want to combine them right now into 10.4, that's fine. So two equations to solve. I would probably, again, when you guys solve this now, distribute the 10, add this here, and then figure out what you want to eliminate. All right, here's where we're going right now. All work, all work. I don't care who you work with, how many people you work with, but at least one person in that group has their Chromebook open so you can see the final answers here. All right, on Aspen. All right, it is all work. Let's go. It is all work. Let's go. If you need help, especially on the uh, three equation, three variable one, call me over. Somebody's got a Chromebook out, though. I cannot have you look at the answers when you're done. <laughs>